Let's take a look at this example. We are asked to simplify, meaning calculate or evaluate. We want to crunch this up into a nice number, this giant expression. So again, we are going to follow bed mass. All right, starting with B, which is brackets. I do see some brackets here. So we need to simplify what's inside the bracket. Now, some of you might be saying, Jess, there's a bracket right here. Did you miss it? Well, yes and no. <laughs> there is a bracket there, you're right. But if you look at what's inside the bracket, it's just a two. Is there anything we can do with the number two? No, two is just two, so there's nothing we can do there. Whereas these brackets, notice that we can simplify them. Okay? So what I'm going to do is just copy everything out. And then within my two brackets here, my first bracket, and my second bracket, I'm going to pause the video and have you simplify it. Now, within each of these brackets, you want to follow bed mass as well. So deal with your exponents before division multiplication, before addition and subtraction. When you're ready, unpause the video. So hopefully you were able to give that a try. Your final number should be one for the first bracket, two for the second one. How did we get that? Well, in the first bracket, remember, Square roots belong to exponents. They're in the same group. So we're going to deal with square roots before we deal with the subtraction. So the square root of 4 is 2, 2 minus 1. That's how we got this 1 over here. In the second group, we're going to deal with exponents before we deal with multiplication. So 2 squared is 4, and then we have a 2 times 3 minus 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 4, that's how we got this 2. All right, let's continue. Now, I've dealt with all of my brackets. Yes, I still see brackets in my expression, but within each bracket, there's nothing else we can do. So brackets are done. Now we need to deal with exponents. We see an exponent right here, 2 to the power of 3. So copy everything else out. And then 2 to the power of 3, that's the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2, 3 times. So that gives us an 8. And this is where if your teacher allows you to use a calculator and you're not sure what 2 to the power of 3 is, that's where you can use it as a tool to confirm the answer is 8. All right, I'm done with exponents. Now division and multiplication. We're going to go left to right. Well, I see a multiplication here. That's 5 times 2, which is a 10. Oh, I see a fraction. But remember what I said. Fractions are the same as division. So instead of plus 40 over 2, that's plus 40 divided by 2. 40 divided by 2, that's going to be 20. And then finally, I have a last multiplication right here. So I have 1 times 8, that's going to be an 8. All right, let's crunch this up going left to right. Now we're done with division multiplication, we just need addition and subtraction. So left to right, addition comes first. 10 plus 20, that's going to be 30. Then I still have that minus 8. And finally, left to right, subtraction, 30 minus 8. That's going to be 22. Hey guys, my name is Jess, the Head of Education here at WISE. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you want to see the complete course, please check out the link in the description. You can also go to one of our playlists to keep learning for free. If you want us to cover a specific course or a specific topic, please leave us a comment below. We post new videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new stuff.